Good evening everyone. Today is Friday, uh, June 14. May I greet you a pleasant good morning to you in your end. I don't know what time you're in. We are behind 9 hours or 7 hours or 18 hours because we have a different time. In Australia, the time now is 7 o'clock in the evening, which is Friday. Now, I wonder why you guys, you always complain that Africa is full of scum. You are one of the scammer. Why? The meaning of scam is just like this. The word scam is the new wording. The old wordings deceive, lied, and manipulate. You are one of the scammer. Why? You fly to Africa thinking you can get 25,000, 27, 28, and then you're excited because you want, you want to get the handsome profit you want to become multi-millionaire at the end of the day when you arrive on the ground there is no 25,000 there is no 27,000 you are deceiving yourself and the seller deceive you as well <laughs> now the reason why I'm on live on YouTube and Facebook there are so many buyers from different part of the world fly to Africa one American, one Chinese, Indians, Australians, German, from Istanbul, from Europe, from Middle East. Thinking they can get gold and diamond very cheap. Do you understand what is the meaning of precious item? Meaning to say, precious item, there is a value. Now, most of you guys, you want to get the gold for nothing, CIF. Do you understand what is the meaning of CIF? CIF stands for cost insurance and freight. That is normal you are going to insure the gold. That is normal you are going to pay the shipping cost. That is normal. But how are you able to pay the gold? Because gold is not for CIF. Gold is cash you are buying. Gold is the world asset. Gold is a currency. Gold has many uses. And your eyes is bigger than a dollar. Why I say that? My dear, I've been to Africa. I just come back. I meet a lot of foreigners like me. One from UK, one from Brazil. He was been scum in Kenya. Then he went to Conakry, Guinea. Then this uh, guy from UK, he traveled to Ghana. And then he fly to Conakry. He was been scum as well. He was been offered 25000 And he said that he's paying taxes and the gold didn't arrive. That is correct. The gold will not leave the country because the owner of the gold will not give it to you. Yes, you pay the shipping cost and insurance. How about the products? You never know you're going to run away. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why I'm here explaining so that you guys in front of me, you're all idiot. Why idiot? Your brain, you think that gold, you can get the money. You can resell it in handsome profit. Don't you know today? The gold, the price of gold today is forty-three thousand three hundred. Two weeks ago, it was forty-two. Now today is forty-three thousand. Go on my page. I always update you guys in order for you to read on the current events. Now the gold today at forty-three thousand five hundred seventy-one point forty-two. Do you have the money? And then you fly to Africa thinking you can get gold 25, 26. Now, there is an Indian. He went to Mali and also Chinese and Korean. I'm going to explain to you guys. If I'm going to mention your name, I'm telling you, you will be embarrassed. Now, may I educate this is idiot buyers. I call you idiot. Why? Because if I am a buyer today, I would not believe that the gold is 25. I wouldn't believe that the gold is 27. I wouldn't believe that the gold is 26. I wouldn't believe it. That is the property of the country. There is a valued tax. You pay the gold so that the seller can declare that to his government that he's going to export to you and he's going to pay the valued tax. That is normal. Here in Australia, our valued tax is 10% government sales tax. I just have my grocery today. Today is Friday. I went to the counter. If I don't have the money, do you think the food, the grocery will give it to me? Plus tax, plus 10% GST. And you guys, you went to Africa and then you come to Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina is not a sole, it's not an agency. 
Wilhelmina is not a babysitter. I put everything online for the buyer to buy gold from us. My seller is from Bamakumali, Kunakregini, and Sierra Leone. I put everything what you see, what you get. So that when you arrive in Africa, there is no surprises. You are fun of surprises. You are. That's why I called you idiot. Because if I am the buyer, I wouldn't be idiot. Because gold is money, diamond is money. I wouldn't become idiot because I have the money and the seller have the products. Mm. Now you're gonna see, you're gonna wonder what is Wilhelmina's role? I am here to sell to you. Go on my main page. What you see, what you get now, because you have been scammed. Like Korean, he is already in Ghana. This bloody Indian, he is in. Burkina Faso. He was in Mali. He was been cheated. He called me mm -hmm. and he asked my advice and I give him the advice and I told him, you know, you called me. If I am a lawyer today, I'm going to charge you $500 an hour, but I am very kind and generous. So I explained it to him. There is no way you can get gold in Mali. No way. 25, 26. That seller is going to tease you. The seller is trying to, to uh, trap you because gold is money that is the property of that particular country now this bloody indian i give him the referral and she he was talking to my friend in Burkina faso now the lady is from from paris and she has a contact in Burkina faso just for me so she entertained that bloody indian now that bloody indian is really really a liar now this is the <laughs> chat of this bloody Indian okay this is the chat of my friend okay listen my partner is now in Dubai he already have required fund for buying gold now he's he was been scam in Mali that's what he said this this bloody Indian now when he was talking to me he said he has money he can afford now when I give him the referral to introduce to my friend and he changed his language and he said to my friend bring one kilo to dubai and then i will pay and i told my friend that a bloody indian is a joker why he is a joker he believe he pretend to be a buyer he said this he has a company he's selling wine this is what he said to, to my friend okay i listen my partner is now in dubai he already have required fund for buying gold but due to fraud and scam i don't carry money right no one is scamming you except you mr buyer whoever you are i do this is this is what my friend forwarded to me i can do one thing for you like you take one kilo of gold and travel with me to dubai after clearing the custom i will pay you the full payment for final payment which is i discuss in african destination that bloody Indian is idiot. You cannot take the gold out of the country without export documentation. So therefore, that bloody Indian is a crook. Mm -hmm. He's a young man. Right. I'm not going to mention his name so that he would not be embarrassed. He, he was talking to my friend. Right. So this is what he said, chat with, his, my, with my, my friend. And he said, money, no problem, because we are Indian, and we have good fund for gold business. And I have already run my gold company in Dubai for the last 15 years. We are dealing like the way, if first dealing, everything will be going very honest. And the honest way, then next time, we pay all the advances of your, of your place, and after we travel. This Indian is a crook. You are a gold launderer. Right, why my friend will bring the gold to you and you don't know who you are? Mm -hmm. So my friend forwarded this chat and I said to my friend, don't believe in that bloody Indian. Mm -hmm. Now, I told my friend, I would be live on Facebook. Right, this video I'm going to upload this on YouTube so that everybody understand, my dear buyer, whoever you are. Whether you're in Australia, in Hong Kong, in China, Singapore, Malaysia, or Dubai, or Middle East, or Istanbul, or, or Europe, gold is not for credit. Gold is not CIF. That is normal. You have to pay the shipping cost. That is normal. You pay uh, insurance. Now, 
our selling price here, we are selling gold FOB. Now the price of gold today, June 14, the price of gold is 43,571.42 on the world market. Right. So if you're buying the refined gold, it is 43,000 plus. But if you're going to buy unrefined, we give you a discount. We reduce instead of 43, we give you the wholesale. So that when you resell it, you get the profit. Right. Now you're going to see what is the procedure. The procedure is very simple. You read. I put everything the procedure, the carrots, the purity, the mode of payment, the country of origin, and the export documentation. Now, I will put again the procedure. Do not come to Wilhelmina if you are not a buyer. Do not, because I'm going to reject you. I would not deal with Joker Broker Online anymore. I'm sick and tired. I just come back from my trip. Now, I'm going to travel again. I'm traveling to, to West Africa next week. I have to accompany the buyer because the buyer needs my extra service. Now, if you are watching me, Mr. Buyer, you have been scam already. You've been lose, losing money, hundreds and hundreds and millions of dollars. You are going to save money being a thrifty. What happened? You stumbled, block. You stumbled. You've been deceived by the seller and you also deceive yourself. You are. Now, I decided to travel with the buyer. I can guarantee you, you will recover your losses. I can guarantee you, I can assure you. Why? I done my, my transaction already. My buyer, he get the gold. Now this is my trip to Sierra Leone. I have the buyer that buying rough diamond. So this buyer, he, he wants my extra service. My extra service is not for free. I do charge you, Mr. Buyer, if you need Wilhelmina on the ground. I charge you my extra service. When you come, then we will discuss how much I'm going to charge my travel cost. Right. So now I have ordered the visa. I'm traveling. Next week, I'm going to be in Sierra Leone. Right. So now, Mr. Buyer, I only bring the buyer one at a time now you are special if you need Wilhelmina if you don't need Wilhelmina I can arrange your travel visa but if there is a problem do not come back to Wilhelmina do not blame Wilhelmina do not my seller is real but my seller is also a hard hard seller he will not bargain he will not barge in why there was a a buyer that I talk in Conakra, Guinea. He likes the stone and he has a very limited cash. And he make a, dump, uh, a partial commitment, huh? and the money was returned because the diamond belonged to the community. So the money was been returned to him. So the, the office decided that the, the buyer has to save more money. Mm. So that my, the buyer was happy because he, his money was not being lost. The money was being returned and my seller, the head office said, okay, at the moment we have a meeting with the board of director. Your commitment is here on the table. We will return your money because we cannot sell four stones. We have a minimum order in Conakry, Guinea. Mm -hmm. So we return the money and the money is intact. You know what the buyer was saying? Thank God I met you, Wilhelmina. Thank God. He lost $450,000 in, in Angola. Uh -huh. So his money is in fact, and he's happy. He's just like a tourist. He enjoy with my company. I look after them. Yes, the two buyers, one buyer will buy gold, and he got the gold. And the one buyer, he will, he will come back because his money was not been taken. He was not been cheated. Right. And you know the buyer says, thank God that you that you are with us, Wilhelmina. The buyer from Malaysia, he got the gold. Successful. Now I'm going to travel again. The buyer from Middle East. Uh -huh. He's buying the stone. He paid my trip. 
right so those buyer that on the ground i'm sorry i'm not going to entertain you you created your own problem you sort sort it out i am not an agency here i am not going to advise you anymore because you are creating your own problem you create the problem you sort it out you're stuck in ghana right now you're stuck in Burkina faso right now you're stuck <laughs> in uh, in kenya right now it is your fault your eyes is bigger than the dollar now mr buyer listen very carefully and read and click below you will see the procedure the carrots the purity the country of origin and the mode of payment is bank to bank cash bank to bank payment this is fob this is not cif this is not um lc don't dream to have lc because africa is a cash transaction gold is cash so you don't have the cash if you're asking for cif you don't have a cash if you're asking lc there was a korean guy he's in ghana he was talking to me for six months and uh, he called me last night before i close and he said madam i'm here in ghana and i said what are you doing there in ghana i uh, was talking to a seller in ghana and I'm going to pay taxes, but I didn't get the gold. I said, why you pay taxes for? So the seller is going to pay taxes. So you should pay the gold. 100 kilos. All right. Today, the price of gold in Ghana is 5%. So the 100 kilos, 43,571 times 100. That is 4 million, um, 4,357,000. He doesn't have 4 million. So the gold didn't arrive. Mm -hmm. and then one american asked me this morning how much is the tax in the government gonna don't ask me because i'm the, i'm not a government you do the research i only give you whatever my seller in every country there's a different taxes that is normal you pay taxes don't dream that you get the gold just to pay taxes don't dream you have to pay the gold so that so that the seller can pay his obligation you are a foreigner the the price of gold plus tax now our selling price i was the one who tell my seller you put the tax into the price so you are no longer going to pay taxes on gold sometimes my seller he will give you the price uh, 36 plus tax 37 plus tax hmm. now come with me I will take you to Bamako Mali. Well, tons of gold. We have tons of gold there. And also in Konakra, Guinea. But the price is the price. The, the real seller is watching the movement of gold on the world market. They will not release the gold until the price goes up. Yes. The, the seller is in control. Because that is money. And you are a buyer. You are hungry to buy. You travel to Africa thinking you can get you can get a cheap price. Last night, I was talking to Johnson. And I heard a European look at the gold and asking for CIF. I said to Johnson, don't believe on that guy. A minute that the gold is in the positions of the buyer, the buyer will default your payment, especially your colored. Your colored guy, you are from Africa. European doesn't care about you guys they only think about the gold why mr cdb was murdered in dubai two years ago recently my seller's son went to uh, to paris the buyer defaulted the payment of 450 kilos then my seller in <coughs> excuse me my seller in bamako mali he sent the gold to to italy his representative almost lost his lost his life that's a moment i don't worry about it so someone is called today i'm busy really when i come home my phone was really ringing 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 i'm here to explain it so go and read the full corporate offer called procedure i have to leave you guys because someone is calling me thank you very much and i wait for you on skype if you're a buyer come to me if you're not a buyer don't come to me because i'm going to tell you how did you meet Wilhelmina. you're gonna say oh on youtube go back and read and you're gonna say on facebook then you go back and read i don't need to explain to you guys because everything is online right thank you very much